afternoon to you. Yes, throughout this week we're looking at more unsettled conditions, some more rain to fall. Let me just update you on the severe flood warnings we have. There are six, and you can find out more information on our flood line number. That's the Environment Agency's flood line number, 0845 988 1188. And of course, not just information, but also some advice on what to do if your home is at risk of flooding. Well, oh, this big lump of cloud you see just to the west of France and just gathering itself across the other side of the channel is the next line of rain creeping in. It'll be a while before it gets to us, already giving some wet weather through Spain and over the northwest of France, spilling its way steadily upwards across us during the course of this evening. And it's another area of low pressure and another line of cloud and rain coming around that low system. Now, eventually those low pressures should move through. We'll keep coming and going though, so it stays very much unsettled with these bands of rain moving across us throughout the week really. Perhaps some hope towards the end of the week as we see a weak ridge move across and hopefully some drier conditions as we move towards the end of the week into the early part of the weekend. But we could have some more rain overnight tonight and this is the Met Office weather watch for you of more heavy rain. Central and eastern England could be badly affected. Another 20 millimetres of rain is certainly not what people need to hear for those already badly affected. Now, we have some cloud and rain across Scotland right now, but a lot of dry weather around, some sunshine getting through as well, from London up through Wales into the Irish Sea, a little bit of brightness here and there, but showers gathering in the south, and some of those showers turning out to be more persistent rain later the, uh, into the afternoon and early this evening. Top temperature, probably around 14 or 15, still quite chilly though along those north sea coasts with the wind off the sea. Then overnight tonight we follow that rain. It starts in the south and gradually spills its way northwards, not just for eastern and central England, but for the Midlands as well, and eventually into northern England and Scotland through tomorrow. So there is a risk of further disruption due to that heavy rain. The greatest risk, I think, from East Anglia down into the southeast of England. And here, as I said, we could see more rain through this evening and overnight tonight. Overnight temperatures, probably no lower than around 8, 9 or 10 degrees, typically in double figures, I think, with all that cloud and rain coming up from the south. Tuesday is somewhat better, though. We find a mix of sunshine and showers for England, Wales, also into Northern Ireland. There are persistent cloud and rain still with us across a good part of Scotland, but eventually moving away to the north and east. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, we'll find more showers coming and going. Some of those showers turning out to be quite heavy, all in all, 